Praise God, praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I was not trying to get back up on here tonight, but I am upset. My God, didn't I just do a video and tell y'all how they executing black people, right? Well, someone sent me this story. Um, look at the date that happened this morning. Um, I want y'all to look at now this Illumin this Illuminati um stuff. All right. Her her address is twelve oh three and it was October the twelfth, right? So they didn't shot another black woman in Fort Worth, Texas. So let's look at the story together. This is crazy. This is crazy. Just released body cam footage shows the moments leading up to a deadly shooting. A Fort Worth police officer is seen walking around the outside of a home, shining a flashlight on the walls and windows for closer inspection. He stops, points his flashlight at a window, and draws his gun. Put your hands up. Show me your hands. Drop. Fort Worth police issued a statement saying the officer perceived a threat, drew his weapon, and fired one shot, striking 28-year-old Atatiana Jefferson. Police say they entered to provide first aid and also found a firearm in the home. Jefferson died at the scene. 15 minutes later, I heard a loud noise, and I saw five or ten police officers surround the house. And I don't know what happened on the inside of the house. All I know is my neighbor. James Smith said he called a non-emergency number out of concern for his neighbor. All the lights in her home were on and doors open. Smith believes she might still be alive if he never dialed for help. If you don't feel safe with the police department, then who do you feel safe with? Do you just ignore crime or ignore something that's not right. The unidentified officer who has been with the department since April 2018 is now on administrative leave. Tonight, Jefferson's sister devastated. I just don't understand, like, these are men that's trained. What kind of training is that? Kathy, do we know what the police say the officer perceived as a threat? Yeah, that's all part of the larger investigation. It's still unclear why the officer reacted the way he did. And police tonight aren't saying exactly where that firearm was located in the home. So still a lot of questions tonight. Okay, so, all right. You, you know, I'm sorry. So, <laughs> I'm upset. Let's support your I, I'm, immune I'm health trying to, with vitamin C. Let, that's me, US let me stop this. I'm really upset. I'm really, really, really upset right now because that don't make no doggone sense. Y'all saw it. First of all, she. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just so upset. I'm tired of this. That's another execution. She in her house. She in her house. How he felt threatened, man. I don't know what kind of game they playing, but this a sick game they playing. Y'all better open y'all eyes. I guess they mad because the other one got 10 years. Something going on. Y'all better, y'all better wake up. Y'all better wake up, be prayed up. You don't see what's happening? They're executing our people. They're executing it. That's point blank in the story. It does not matter what nobody think or whatever. I pray that y'all understand what time it is. Y'all can Google the story. Um, another woman, 28 years old. And my thing is this. If you shine a light on her house, of course she's going to go by the window and see what's going on. And you shoot her? How about you feel threatened? How you feel threatened? How, how can you see through a window? Y'all y'all saw how thick that window was? Play the video back. The, the window was that thick. So how, how you saw what she had in her hand or didn't have? Somebody playing the game, bro. All right, y'all. God bless y'all. Just keep praying. My God, my God. I can't believe this. I feel like we I feel like we're in the slavery slavery times all over again. 40, 50, 60s. Y'all think it's a game? All right, God bless. Stay prayed up. Um, Apostle Deanna Dixon, real life soldiers for that is who we are. God bless.